And Chamath and Sachs, did you guys um, keep all of the shares you you originally invested in um, to the exit here? Just to set the context for folks, you know, you, you invest in a company, it's a small startup, it's exiting for, for $30 billion. Yeah, did, for, did you hold just, it? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, for every share that I owned, half of it were half, no, uh, yeah, for, uh, for of, of, of 100 shares that I owned, per every 100 that I owned, um, 10 of them I sold at 38, right at the direct listing. Um, I want to say 40 of them I sold uh, in the mid-20s. And uh, the rest of it just got taken out at this price. So your dollar cost average to the, you know, whatever, high 30s, maybe 40 or something. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I don't uh, know my exact. I mean, I, 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 I sold some and I still own some. So, um, you know, I definitely got my, my beak wet from this acquisition. Oh, 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 um, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, but look, I, I, I think I probably sold, you know, more than half of them, you know, um, and that was a mistake. And, you know, one of my biggest learnings as an investor has been to let your winners ride. You know, my biggest mistake as an investor has not been the losers. It's all it's been selling the winners prematurely. Yeah, you my, did that with uh, Uber yeah. as well, David. Uh, and I sold some Uber before, but I kept a lot of my Uber, maybe most of it or half of it, I think. Anyway, Uber, it, Facebook. I mean, Facebook, you know, when they IPO'd, it was worth 50 billion. We all thought that was like unbelievable. I mean, because it was over a 50x return. But so um, what's the lesson for this X? Just never sell anything if you can help it. I uh, I sold Never all of my Facebook in 2014 and bought Amazon and Tesla. I think that you have to be able to sell for two reasons: liquidity and moral obligation. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that's an exaggeration. I mean you can never. It's 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 people need to be able to sell, but to the extent you can hold on, uh, just don't sell everything. You know, always you know, keep. Um, you know, you keep, keep, it, keep I mean, think it. about the people yeah. who were at Apple in the 80s or Microsoft in the 80s or Amazon in the 90s. A lot of those people got frustrated holding the shares for so long. Mm -hmm. And I think keeping at least 20% of your shares forever, you know, could be amazing. There was somebody told me <laughs> had never sold a single share of I don't know if that's a true story or not. I, I told you that. You can't be okay. leaking that information. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I didn't know Sirens. that was a leak. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. More breaking news. <laughs> Let's move to Alpha Let's move to Alpha Fold, please. <laughs> Let's please Must credit to all in podcast. <laughs> oh my god. The same, we the, same may, the same may or may not be true with and his shares. You know what we should do is we should do a um we should put beeps in there, Nick. I was told had never sold a share of and then we just let everybody react to it. <laughs> this way nobody knows who we're talking about. Well, I, I I do know that has not sold a single share and it has only sold shares of to fund capital calls, which is an incredible statement to fortitude and vision. Oh incredible. Lord. Incredible. It's, by the way, by the way, it's, it's not always worked out because he did the same with and those didn't go as well. Yeah. I mean, look, you, you have to diversify when, when you've got all your eggs in one basket in one company, obviously you have to sell some shares, but, um, you know, one of the things I've just learned over the last 20 years is probably, you know, people ask me what's your biggest regret or learning or whatever. It's just selling too early is like one of the biggest mistakes you can make. Um, look at PayPal. PayPal is now a $250 billion company. We sold it in 2002 for $1.5 billion. We thought that was a great deal at the time. And we sold it for less than 1% of what it's worth today. And the product's basically the same. You know, so it's never just compounding. Sell is the lesson. Never sell. If it's a winner, Ride it. You can pair. Well, okay, right. hold on, hold on. I'm going to put a final nail this coffin. Then we're going to go to Alpha Fold. There's a great <clears throat> quote by Warren Buffett, which is, um, "If you know what you're doing, the best thing you can do is be as concentrated as possible." Nobody ever got rich in their seventh best idea, and I think that that basically sums it up. But you have to be in a position to have the ability to have that kind of portfolio allocation, and I think that's hard. 